Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the show. Fernando. Welcome to the show, guys. Today, we have a special one for you. Now, this is gonna be unique. Let me explain why. Because we're so close to pack, we get the honor, as it is, of beta testing some products. And today, we have an awesome beta test that we're really super excited about. It's in this Dodge, and we're gonna tell you all about it. Now, here's the caveat. We're filming this in a beta version, so we're filming this before the product is actually available. So the one we have is straight up, like, no stickers, no markers marking, hush hush black ops type stuff. They gave us permission to film it, we just couldn't release it until now. Let's talk about what it is, what it's doing, and why this might change your life if you own a Dodge. So a couple years ago, even though it seems like it was just yesterday, Amp released a product called the Amp Pro. And what the Amp Pro allowed you to do is if you had a factory premium sound system, you could plug in this box, this thing right here, and what it would do is it would talk to the data bus in the car and reroute the signal into this box and give you a four volt or five volt preamp section that was totally controlled from the radio, 20 to 20, awesome sound, essentially turning your factory radio into an aftermarket radio with a preamp section. This changed the world. This allowed us to simply allow you to keep your factory radio, plug in amplifiers, and get that nice, crisp, clean sound, and retain all your beeps, buzzers, chimes, and warnings, and all that, and we didn't have to do high levels, so there was none of that compression, or summing, or dealing with your factory EQing, all pass filters, and sounds that were missing, and it was great. Well, the downside to it was that if you didn't have that factory premium sound system, well, you were left, you know, hanging. There was nothing for you. Well, then they came out with a GM version of it, and they found out that in GM, cars there was a way to fool the system into allowing you to plug in this device and even though you didn't have that premium sound system you could still use this there was some caveats strictly in the tuner section they had to do some summing left and right but either way who uses tuner some of you do and I understand but most of you guys are doing digital they figured out how to do it in Dodge the problem was is that they had already made this piece it was the amp pro APCH 41 and it was already in production it was already up and running and it was like oh man the only way to make it work was to like retro fit in another module and, and I'm like, oh, we can't do that. With time comes fixes for everything and the fix is out. So now what they have is the updated version, this guy here, which like we said, this is beta. There's no stickers, there's no nothing. We, we printed these stickers so we know what we were looking at. And we're gonna get into the dash and we'll show you all that. What we have now is this is a stock eight inch touchscreen with no premium sound. This guy talks to it, remaps the factory radio and tells it it's a premium sound system, which means we can then plug in an amp pro and get a preamp section. The product is different. An Amp Pro CH41 yesterday won't work in this car. It's a full new rev. The hardware is different, the harness is different, the software is different, everything about it is different. We're just using the same model number because eventually they'll just all change into this. How does it work? That's what we're gonna show you here today. So the first thing you need to do, get this radio out of the dash. Let me show you how. Get this out. Here there's a pocket and there's one screw that goes into here. It's a seven millimeter. Lift up the little piece of plastic, pull that seven millimeter out, this guy. And then there's another piece of plastic that's here and then there's two more more screws here remove those then what you want to do is from back here go ahead and pry this console up it's just gonna slide back when that is out of the way if you have this the little power outlet pull this piece of plastic out there'll be another torque screw here pull this piece of plastic out there'll be two more torque screws here once those are removed you can easily pull this back and unplug it and set it aside don't go too far with it once you get that out of the way you'll have the big touch screen right here there's four seven millimeter screws two here two on that side go ahead and remove those this is where having an assistant or a helper is necessary or a lot of towels. I'm a because helper. You're more than a helper. I'm a helper. Because this is a big heavy eight inch touchscreen that you do not want to scratch. Once you get the radio out, what you're gonna to wanna to do is unplug this USB right here. And the reason you have to unplug it is because it gets in the way of this harness. Next, unclip this guy right here. This is where it gets kind of fun. Now, as you can see, it's rather tight here in the dash, and this cable is not all that long. But once you're to this point, you're gonna plug in their T harness, this guy. Let's go over to the bench real quick, and we'll talk about this. So as we said, this is a straight up beta product here. Here's our remote turn on coming out of this. This isn't the final assembly, but you're gonna get an idea. That's why we're showing it to you. This end plugs into our Amp Pro, and then these two harnesses are gonna go behind the radio, and then the radio here. But this is what we're looking for. This is your speaker wires. So from here, we'll be able to integrate in our amplifier and go out to all our speakers. The side coming from the radio, we're not gonna be using at all for this application. This particular harness, this one was hand built by Kyle Spurlock, and this is revision two. Way to go, Kyle. He's been on the show before. Let's go ahead now. 
now and plug this into the car and we'll talk to you what you need to do to set the car up for this to work. The first thing you wanna do is plug into the car and then snake this in there and snake this down. So this is gonna go all the way down to the bottom of the dash. And then go ahead and plug in your Amp Pro. Next, we'll plug it into the back of the radio. Make sure it snaps and then give it a slight tugging just to make sure. Plug the USB cable back in. Put the radio back in and secure it with one of the screws. Now as you see, the screen is powering up, it's okay. Next, plug back in our dash panel, so everything. And then just gently snap the dash back in place. Once you're at this point, meaning everything is plugged back in, go ahead and turn the car on, roll up all your windows, and then exit the car and lock the door. Have a stopwatch ready. At this point, you're gonna be waiting 10 minutes. This is the first of two cycles you're going to do. What this is designed to do is reprogram the radio into thinking it's that amplified stereo. So now we're gonna wait. We're gonna unlock it, open the door, cycle the ignition, shut the door, lock it, and wait another 10 minutes. And through the magic video, you don't have to sit through that. Once you're done with that, go ahead and unlock the door, hop into the car. Now you want to make sure that it works. It's actually pretty simple. Go ahead and turn on the ignition, you should only have sound coming out of the rear speakers. Keep in mind that speaker harness, that still needs to be plugged together in order to test it this way. The volume will be non-variable, meaning at zero you'll have no sound, and then the volume control won't do anything if you turn it up. Go ahead and turn it up. So he's turning the volume, but it's not getting any louder, but you can hear the static. That's what we want. That means that this radio has been programmed for amplifier mode. To show you how that actually works though, we've grabbed an RTA, we're gonna plug it in and show you everything that's coming out of the actual system. Ours are indicated front, plugging in. We have our RTA. We'll go ahead and put it on some music. As you can see, the volume is variable. We can move to the rear, and if we go into the audio section on the radio, and we fade it to the front, we don't get any sound out of that preamp. We fade it to the rear, we get sound out of the preamp. Now the same is gonna work for left and right, and then also subwoofer. It comes with this cool bass knob right here. Bass knob turned off, we have no sound. Turn it back up, we have bass. So you've added the bonus feature of a subwoofer volume control. Now if your amplifier has a subwoofer volume control, as a lot of them do, that's fine. Go ahead and plug this bass knob in though, turn it all the way up, and then just zip tie it to the main wiring harness that you're installing. You may need it for chime level control or something else down the road. Don't just discard it. If you'll notice here on the brain, there's this little dip switch bank right here. This feature is one of these dip switches, and you can see dip switch four is on. That's what's allowing this to happen. This will still work work if you have the premium sound system like the current or soon to be replaced CH41 will. But if you have this and you're buying it specifically for that, dip switch four is the feature you want. And I'm sure when you buy yours, it'll have come with some neat instruction manuals and all that fun stuff. They're still working on those right now while we're filming this. And I'm sure we'll get the opportunity to film another video that's more complete and page by page and where to look. This is a first look after all, and this is cool stuff. So we wanted to make sure we got to film it beforehand. So as soon as it hits, you guys get to find out about it. Pretty cool. At this point, it's ready to go. It's rocking and rolling and we're done. Now, as you can see, we have it out of the car. As long as we don't cycle that ignition on, we're good. So even if you take it back to the dealer or anything like that and they unplug it and plug it back in or whatever, chances are good they're not gonna kick it out. However, if they do, simply repeat that process of locking the door with the windows rolled up and waiting 10 minutes and do that twice and it'll resync with the radio. Super simple. All right, guys, that's been this beta test. First look on the Amp Pro CH41. What do you say, Fernando? On to the next one, guys. See ya.